So what we're going to do now is we're just going to look at, there's a couple other directional manipulations we can do for the AA joint. So I'm going to show you them. And uh, one is in supine and one is in sideline. The supine one is going to be for the contralateral joint, meaning that if there was a restriction in right rotation, the supine one is going to work on C1 going anterior inferior. We're going to utilize side bending to the same side. So, so what I'm going to do is, or side bending to the manipulation side, I should say. So if there's a, a manipulation that I'm doing and a restriction in right rotation, if I side bend the upper cervical to the left, what's the conjunct rotation? It's, right, it's contralateral, correct? So I do some slight side bending to initiate that contralateral rotation. So in summary, I have a restriction in right rotation. My flexion rotation test or my biomechanical has shown right rotation is restricted. I do my distraction manipulation. I am not impressed because I'm not getting the rotation that I would like. I do my muscle energy afterwards, still hasn't freed it up. Okay, I have a choice. I want to do a directional manipulation. So I'm going to get on C1. I'm going to push it down and forward. Or I'm going to get on to C2 and push it up and forward in sideline. One's going to take care of the left joint, which is the contralateral joint. The other's going to take care of the right joint. What you'll notice with both of these is that rotation is kept to a minimum and it isn't in the lever of what we do. So the first one, go ahead and lay on your back. And remember, we've done all our stress tests, everything, and I love hook lying because remember the amount of stress that goes through the neck with the leg straight. So it takes a little bit of pressure off. What's nice about this is that we've done flexion rotation. We found a restriction and we're thinking, okay, it's the contralateral joint that's restricted. So what I can do, find the angle of the mandible mastoid process I start at C2 and I get up at C1. So I'm right on C1 and remember, we have to push it down and forward. We're, so we're doing a direct manipulation following its mechanics. When I do a side bending in the upper cervical to the left, it creates right rotation. So that way I don't have to use rotation in my manipulation. It already is naturally rotated as far as it can. So that at the end of the day, once I get to that position, I can just translate to the right to kind of lock up the lower cervical spine a little bit, just a little bit to get some of that looseness out. Because if I just go here and manipulate, it gets a little bit of loose, loose. So then we take up that slack by side bending here, doing some slight translation my hand here is just kind of stabilizing. And I make sure I get to that end feel there. And then I can do a push like that. So it's not a big rotation, but it's a push like that. You can recheck your flexion rotation test. And then you can sit them up. So again, find C1, take up the slack, side bend a little bit to the left to get to your barrier, translate a little bit to lock it in, pre-minute hold, permission from the patient, and push. Follow up with your neuro re -ed contralateral joint. Ipsilateral joint, go ahead and lay on your side. Uh, do you want to face one on the other side? Or, or? Uh, I think I'll do it this way. This will be perfect, yeah. Because what I can do, so with this 
what I can do is I'm going to be getting on C2 and bringing C2 anterior superior, which is a relative posterior inferior of C1. With right rotation, that C1 is coming inferior and posterior. I find angle of the mandible, mastoid process, C1, C2, spinous process. I can take this part of my hand and get right on C2. I'm going to rotate him to his barrier. Once he gets to his barrier, I can lean on my elbow and I can do the manipulation up towards his opposite eye. So here I am here. You're at the barrier. You do your pre-manip hold and you do your push. Afterwards, you can, it's nice to do a muscle energy. So don't let your head fall. So he brings in his right rotation. And relax, and you can take up the rotation. Hold your head up. And again, you do like a mobilization with movement in that area. So that's for the ipsilateral side of the AA joint. This one, you're using some rotation just to get to that barrier, and then you're bringing the lower up. So you're in this position, and you're doing your manipulation up towards the opposite eye. I would set him up and do neuromuscular re-ed and show him the towel as well.